Hi, my name is Murdoch, and today is the very first Wednesday I'm posting a video. Now, I had this idea to make Wednesdays be known as Sketchbook Wednesdays on this channel, where I do a new piece of art in this sketchbook every Wednesday, and once I fill all 65 pages of this, we'll be able to take a look back on some memories and see how far we've come. So today, I feel like it's only right that we customize the cover of the sketchbook. And what's great about this sketchbook is that it actually comes with a cover that's meant to be customized. Oh. See? It's like a teal blue color. Personally, I think, like, just the people who made the sketchbook, I think that's a really great design. But anyways, let's do this. Alright, so while the art's going on, I think it would be cool to do a voiceover and just talk about whatever crosses my mind, or maybe some topics you guys suggest. With that being said, if you have something you want me to draw in the sketchbook series, or topic you want me to talk about, leave a suggestion in the comments below. Now getting into today's discussion, I think since I'm still in the introductory phase of this channel, I should get into why I started it in the first place. You see, I've been doing YouTube on a different channel for just over 4 years, and over those 4 years, I've grown a lot, both as a person and as a creator. But the thing with that channel is, I'm stuck. Now let me explain. The content I started out with didn't take me very long to make. I do a quick drawing for a how-to video, speed it up in <laughs> Windows Movie Maker, then post it. I'd be able to do it all within a couple of hours. Now these how-to videos would sometimes show up in people's YouTube searches, but because the drawings weren't very good, I didn't give any instructions, I didn't speak or show my personality, the people watching had no reason to subscribe. I finally reached 100 subscribers right before I posted my 100th video, and this was huge for me. I was so proud of myself and was really surprised I did it. Now, over the next couple years, I kept growing, and my channel currently has around 600 subscribers, which is great, but my subscribers don't watch my videos. Now, I shouldn't say that. Every week, I have the same 30 or so people checking into my videos, and I appreciate every one of you. The rest of my views normally come from promoting my stuff on Reddit, which having people who are watching my video in Reddit leave Reddit to come subscribe to me is difficult. The best way to grow from what I've heard is to have a high percentage of your subscribers watch a high percentage of your videos. Well, I have around 600 subs and only around 30 of them watch my videos, meaning around 5% of my subscribers watch my videos, which is not great, especially for a smaller channel like me. I attribute this to my content changing a lot over the years, which means if I'm not making the content someone subscribed for, they won't watch the video. Also, some people like to subscribe so they can try and get you to subscribe back to them, which with smaller channels, I've noticed a lot of people do. So yeah, I decided it was time for a fresh start. With this channel, I want to show more of me and what I can do. Have the art activities and experiments on this channel be cool, while also having personality, showing off who I am, my opinions, my views. I believe my newer videos on my old channel did this, but because only 5% of my subscribers saw it, I wasn't able to reach more people. Now I'm asking you, the person watching this, if you watched through till now, check out the few videos I've posted and decide if you want to subscribe. Not for me, but for you. Do you find me entertaining? Do you think you'll watch my videos? If so, I will see you Friday with my next video. If not, I appreciate you watching this far and wish you the best of luck with your life and goals. Who knows, maybe we'll meet again.